start recording, start the game. Uh, yeah, anyone uh, watching a video, uh, this video on YouTube later. Uh, all right, everyone, I'll welcome aboard. So I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with. Peace, Almighty Lieutenant Rakir, at your service. And we just finished up with Dust in Legion Tale. So we're starting our second game for this, which is the Count Lucanor. Which, well, Halloween, October, all that. <laughs> oh boy. So, let's start a new game. As I turn off the controller. Games. Once upon a time, there lived a really poor boy called Hans. Hans was downhearted. He wanted to be an adult. He wanted to explore faraway places, find treasures, and visit lavish castles. However, as his father had left to fight the war, Hans had to stay at home to help his mother. But today, Hans was really happy. It was his 10th birthday. Mom, I'm back. Do you know what day it is today? Of course I know. You're 10 years old today. Happy birthday. Yeah. Have you brought me any presents? Maybe a toy? Hans, my dear, you know we have almost no money since your dad went to war. But, Mom, it's my B-Day. It's very slangy for medieval. <laughs> Do we have any sweets to eat? I'm sorry, it's nothing special. Come on, help me set the table. <laughs> Grumpy. Well, enough's enough. All kids in the village have presents and sweets for their birthday. They even throw parties. Hans. I'm sick of this house. I'm sick of not having toys. I'm sick of being poor as a church mouse. I understand now why Dad isn't coming back. Um... Where are you going? I'm leaving. I've just turned ten. I'm a grown man. No, you're not. Hans, please. I'm going in search of fortune, and I'm not, not ever coming back. I'll be, an, I'll, I'll be an explorer. Or even better, I'll be a prince in a castle. Goodbye. Hans, wait. Are you really leaving? You're still too young. You may think you're a grown-up, but you're only ten. Besides, life is really hard outside, and the woods can be really dangerous for you. I don't care. I'm really strong, and I've been alone in the woods for many times. If you're really leaving, at least let me uh, do what I can to help you. I've got some things for you. I don't need your help. This cane belonged to my father, your grandpa. It has great sentimental value to me. I'm sure it'll help you in your journey. Got a cane? This is all the money we've got left. Take it and spend it wisely. Three gold coins. Finally, this is all we had to eat. Eat your food slowly, it will last longer. And some cheese. And this is it. I can't give you anything else, Hans. Hans, please don't go off the road. Be a good boy and remember, I'll be here if you want to come back. Okay. And yeah, that's the start of this game. Just yeah. Hans being a little brat. Yeah, at the same time, I was... Here's the thing. In this time period, I think we are in... She may be aware 
that she, it, it will be hard to take care of him. Yeah. He, 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 go ahead. I was say, if, if he feels his odds for better life is leaving home, this is how she will do it, but she will leave. But you can see she has hope that he will return and be safe. Yeah. But she is hope. She also accepts that maybe he be able to find a better place for during wartime, especially this era. Yeah, it's not that great. Yeah. Plus, there's also the fact that back in the old ages, uh, the reason people had so many kids and birthdays even became a thing was because, well, uh, for every four kids, like two or three died before they even hit five or something. Oh, that was more common in the Victorian age. Uh, let's see. Spittle, I can't play with you anymore. I go on adventures just like my dad did. It might not be coming back for a long time. Hey, but where's your bone? It has to be around here. Okay, uh, I'm guessing that's it. Yeah, yeah the graphics also... of this game are a bit... Uh, not much to look at, but it's still nice enough. It's the cinematic bone. and these icons are great. Yeah. But it does make the rest of the game look rather... Actually, the building and trees all look good, just the characters models or rather yeah they, they look kind of out of place let's see to give him a bone i should open my inventory with i and equip it so i can also fast change between the most important items with t and y okay uh, oh, i should be trying to say this modern uh, armies nowadays the families will get compensated yeah, in this time and era, no. Your, your husband and probably the breadwinner of the family is going out to war, likely die. And uh, good luck. Yeah, here's the thing. They will probably see the money if the husband returns alive. Yeah. There you go, Spittle. That's your bone. Giving Spittle the bone. You have to go now. Take care of mom and don't go away. That looks rather well. I... Hmm? It almost looks 3D. <laughs> but what am I? What am I doing? Now that I'm old, I can't play with the swing anymore. Yeah, deny all you want, Hans. You're still a kid. I'm happy I don't have to fetch water from this darned well anymore. Yeah. yeah now but... your mother will have to do it instead. Yeah. Kids from this age in this era will work a bit more, or at least help out somewhat. Let's see. But they were still kids. I think I'm taking what I've hidden in the tree hollow. Three chestnuts. Okay, not much, but it's food. I need okay. to check out how some you find some of these... Some nuts are, is rather obvious, but then the nuts, they are um, always confused where you find them, or how you recognize them in the wild. Mm -hmm. Rabbit holes. Yep. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see, I remember some things from the showcase that we did a while back. Hangman's Woods. Okay. I think we have some early ch choices to make or something. Yeah, or at do least, you have uh, a guide ready? Uh, uh, actually, I don't, so we'll, we'll have to... <laughs> we, yeah, we, we won't be going too long with this, so it shouldn't be too much trouble. Let's see, this is the path to the village, but it's really boring. I'd rather go on adventures. Uh, r slash kids are stupid. And, well, Hans is stupid. Hello there. Hello, young one. What are you doing here alone? The woods can be really dangerous for a kid. I'm a grown man, lady. I'm ten. <laughs> oh, well. I see you're a man indeed. Perhaps you can help me then? What's wrong? I was on my way to the market in the village to sell this pig and make some money, 
but my cane was stuck in some rocks and broke. I need that uh, support to walk, so I don't know uh, what I will do no when, when night falls. Won't you uh, have by any chance something to help me keep going? I could hand her the cane Mom gave me, but she told me it was my grandpa's. I gave her the cane, I should take it from my backpack and show it to her. Yeah. Here. There you go, lady. Please use this cane here. You've given the old woman the cane? Oh, thanks a lot. Your mother should be proud of such a good son. Come on, you darn slacker. Move your ass. Goodbye, son. I do hope we meet again really soon, so I can return the favor. Yeah. <laughs> Granny may be nice, or look nice, but she's definitely not to the pig. Could we even follow them, or are they just plain gone now? Wait, is that the brilliant cane in the grass there? Yeah, that's the... Oh, there she is. Let's see. How far... I'm guessing we can follow her to the end of the screen. And off she is. Well. Let's see. Can we yeah, pick up the remains of this? Mm, no, we can't. Okay, so just... Visually there. Yep. Okay. Crow. I don't like ravens at all. Mom says they bring bad luck. Okay. Crow, Raven, they all look the same in 2D games like this. <laughs> it's almost more like a rook to me. Yeah, to my knowledge, the, mo the biggest difference, with, or the easiest way to tell a Raven from a Crow is the size, with Ravens yeah. being bigger. And if you're right, Rooks are the biggest. Hey, Mr. Donkey, where do you come from? You look hungry. Poor thing looks hungry. I can see the ribs. Let's see. I don't think you'll have this. He might like fruit better. Okay. Is there any fruit to get? There's, some, there's a squirrel here. A, a golden squirrel? Hello. Hello. Apples. Those apples look delicious. If I keep them, I could regain some uh, strength later. Okay, one apple. Two apple. We can't shake the tree, it looks. You know, technically, these are someone's apples, so... Oh well, they should have kept better care of their fence. There you go, Mr. Donkey. Eat this apple I've got here. Give him the apple, Donkey. Okay, he likes that. Oop. I don't even... Yeah, we did not meet this Donkey last time. I... Wait... Yeah. Wait, are there randomized elements to this game then, maybe? Like, I know we met... Me I know we met the Granny. Oops. Me? Hello. Corvus. Oh, what will become of me? Well, yeah, wasn't he possibly uh, a someone who tricked us? Hey, are you alright? Help, please, help. I've lost everything. All the wares I carried for my lord, even my donkey has gone away. What will become of me? I've seen a donkey down the road. He'll, he'll, be, ju he'll be just scared. I if he saw the donkey and walked past it. Yeah, yeah, likely that. My master will punish me anyway. He will ask me 100 times for not bringing the goods, or bringing the wares. Perhaps you could strap them to the donkey and resume your journey? You're not hurt, are you? You're a smart kid, but that will help, won't help much. Unless I bring my master some money to make up for the wagon, he punished me hard. You're just a kid. I guess you won't spare some coins, will you? I could give him the money, but... Mom told me not to waste it. And I could yeah. give you a coin. I'll take two, thanks. He's stolen two gold coins. 
No, I wanted to give you one coin. Give me the other one back. All right, game, kids. Don't play the rat here, will you? I'll make it up to you another time, buddy. Yeah, the question is, will we ever get the chance to uh, get our favors returned? Yeah, that's why I feel like we, we should not have held him. Uh there we go. Three dots. He's a little goat, yeah. What have we here? Him. I don't know. Billy? Billy goat? <laughs> All those above 15 shall report to their nearest uh, John gender Mary at once. I have no idea how to say that. I don't even know what that is. Hey, kiddo. What are you doing on the, uh, in the top of the mountain? I'm going in search for fortune. <laughs> Blimey, <laughs> that's a big idea. Tell me if I find anything interesting. <laughs> are you taking care of these goats? My goats take care of themselves. Spend the day smoking and playing the flute. But hey, ain't your parents worried about you? I don't think so. Besides, my dad went to war. Ooh, that's bad. Why? Well... Let's say they force you to go to war. Don't know anybody who chose to go, so it ain't a great place. Oh. And your mom? Ain't she looking for you? I don't care. I'm angry with her. But at least she gave me some food for the journey. Ouch. Are you alright? You mentioned food and me belly aches. <laughs> Been all day with me goats and forgot to bring something to eat. Took tobacco and wine, but forgot the most important thing. <laughs> Uh, will you take chestnuts? I've got this chestnut. You can have it if you want. Couldn't do much with a chestnut. Thank you, anywho. Okay, well... I've got this cheese. You can have it. You sure? Truth is, your cheese looks delicious. And me is starving. Hey, what do you think we share? We could have a nice meal with your cheese and your wine. Alright. You've given the goat herd some cheese. Yeah, they're splitting it at least. Yeah. And uh, they're also splitting something else. There you go, Hans. Drink some more wine, man. Yes, uh, I think I can't. Bonk. <laughs> you poor boy. I have to take you back home. But first, the final sip. Hey... Yeah, don't drink underage, kids. Not that I expect kids to view this anyways, since, well... <laughs> These are damn well made. That's a big raven. Save soul. Oh, my head. I might have fallen asleep. It's pitch dark and I'm freezing. I should head home. I just need to follow the way back. It's so dark. I better take this candle with me. Yeah. Yep. Well, that's not normal. Um... Also, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a male duck. Those typically don't stick around with the chicks. This is the blood of all those who died at war. Oh dear. Uh, what's happening here? Hey, buddy. You're all right. You look pale. You can never trust a goat, can you? This is scary as hell. I want to go home. Now. Even a tiny one? 
Even a baby goat is scary now. Yeah. What the heck? Not the stray care as the owner, but what the heck? Huh? The imp. I don't think we want to stick around. Oh dear. It, it, it still is freaky. <laughs> yeah. The blue cobalt keeps a great treasure. It was a cobalt, I forgot that. I think I can still you hear. Style of cobalt? Yeah. Even if it's completely still, I can still see it breathing. They yeah, have... that's a defense mechanism they have. Oh, hello. Um. Don't think we want to risk getting uh, those apples. Plus, it'd be leaving the path and. Uh, yeah, during the night, it's, that's a bad idea. Yeah. That pretty seemed a lot cuter before the sunset. Are you supposed to go up? I can hear the goats to the left, so yeah. Off the path and... On to a new one. Good evening, most gracious sire. Welcome. Uh, hello. Where am I? You've entered the walls of Tenebrae Castle, <clears throat> the fortress of the most illustrious Count Lucanor. I didn't know there was a Count living around here. My master has always excelled at discretion. Perhaps you have come to claim my master's legacy? Legacy? My master, Count Lucanor, is a man of great wealth. His domain and influence span hundreds of leagues. However, he is afflicted by a sorrow. His days of youth are far behind, and in all these years he has not had a son to take his place. Thus he has requested me to look for young noblemen who deserve to inherit such a fortune. You mean this Count Lucanor has a lot of money and he's looking for someone to have it? Precisely! So my first thought was you had arrived with that purpose in mind. Of course, I am a nobleman from a faraway kingdom. I have come to claim the, uh, the Count's wealth. Take me to him at once, please. I admire your enthusiasm, sire. But before I take you to my master, I need to make sure you stand for the appropriate values for the role. You would not want vile noblemen, thieves, or ragged children in the throne, would we, sire? Race. Therefore, you will have to tackle a simple trial. You will need to guess my name. What do you say? You, ha you will have the knight to guess my name. If you are right, I will personally take you to my master, the most illustrious Count Lucanor. I wish you luck in the trial, sire. Now, if you will allow me, I have to leave. Oh. We figured it out somehow. But how did we? What a blessing. If I guess his name, I'll be rich. It's not going to be that easy, of course. Okay. And now I th we are in things. Door is locked. Hello. Yep. Uh. And the door is locked. Okay. Green banners, red banners. And yeah, we can crawl underneath things, so uh, yeah, we're going to have to hide from things. Green banners. Okay. I think we need to go to the center first here, yes? Let's actually put that candle away when we don't need it. Zowie! The fountain is full of coins. 
If I were you, I wouldn't reach for those coins. I have seen the raven kill seven uh, foot tall warriors just by pecking. Truth be told, the raven looks pissed. And hello again. Leave gold, save soul. What? He's, ask he's asking you for a coin, boy. If you throw a gold coin into the fountain, it will save your soul. Save my soul? But from what? Death! Yeah, this is going to be the save system. Hey, young one. What are you doing here? I'm after the Count Lucanor's fortune. Hey, you won't happen to know that blue kobold's name, will you? <laughs> I just come here to sell my wares to those unfortunate souls who dare enter the rooms of the castle. What do you mean? Find it out yourself. Since we've already met, I can give you this key. Okay, blue key for blue banner doors. I think I've never seen a, co uh, a color key before. What is it for? Oh my, you seem a little bit confused. Haven't you noticed the banners by the doors? Um, there are four colors. Blue, green, red, and golden. You, you need the same color key to open those doors. Alright, now I've got a blue key. I can start exploring. Thanks a lot. Wait, kiddo. Don't leave in such a rush. Don't you want to see my wares? They might be useful to you. Alright, what do you sell? The first one is this golden key. You can use it to enter the room upstairs. The key will cost you 10 gold coins. The second item is a sealed envelope with one of the blue kobolds' names, uh, name letters. The letter will cost you 5 gold coins. And last but not least, I've got some corn. A handful of corn will cost you 3 gold coins. Not sure what we need that for. Also, as you helped me out when we met by the rocks, I want to give you the envelope with the letter. So now we're even. Okay. Oh, well, that's, that's, yeah, that's cheap. We saved three gold coins on that. And we got the letter L. Thanks a lot. Alright, so if he did help pay off the boss to, for helping him, then... Yeah. And, yeah, we don't have a save option here. So we will have to throw in a coin to get a save. I'm presuming we'll get a decent amount of coins since, well, we'll need 10 at the very least to get the gold, the gold key. So, yeah. I kind of want to do a save here. But on the other hand, also, hello there. Let's yeah, so the chest. It won't open. The lock has a three-digit combination. Okay. So we're going to have to figure that out somewhere. Hmm. But yeah, let's let's put in uh, let's make a save just so that if something happens, we don't have to do the prologue again. Yeah, we kind of forced to use this coin. Hey, Mr. Raven, there you go, a gold coin. Please save my soul. Give the Raven a coin. Save soul. I think I've said. I think I used a, a very similar voice when we did a showcase. I haven't noticed anything strange, but I guess this worked. Whatever this is. I can always do the raven voice if you want. <laughs> if you want, yeah, go ahead. Save soul. Too spooky. Okay. Okay, I think that's a yes. No, then we have a chest here. These bars won't let me get to the chest. There has to be some sort of device to lift them. Yeah, from here on out, we're at risk, I think. Okay, that'll definitely help. And there's a broken ladder here. The ladder is broken. I can't reach it. I'm going to presume that using the candle uses up some durability on it or something. Or at the very least, we can hide better in the dark without it. Ooh. Hello. Hey. Da. Da. Please don't kill me, you monster disguised as a kid. I'm no monster. I am a kid. A normal kid, I mean. Huh? All right then. What a shock. 
Didn't hear you come. You're really good at stealth. Excuse me. The name's Gui... Uh, Gui... Gui... Wally? How the hell? Giulia? Yeah, Giulia? Hmm. Hi, I'm Hans. What are you doing in this castle, Hans? I'm after Count Lucaner's fortune. Hmm. That makes us two. Are you also trying to guess the kobold's name? You mean the, that blue critter? No way, I'm on my own. I have no interest in becoming a countess. I just want the treasure. Uh, well, I'm a treasure hunter after all. Are you? I travel from town to town, gathering information on treasures. But it's no easy job. There were a lot of dangers. Seven evil, uh, seven-eyed evil monsters, cold black creatures from hell, bloodstained spawns, gruesome curses, atrocious traps which could take your uh, guts out. So I have to be really careful. Zowie, I'd love being an adventure <laughs> a treasure hunter like you, going on adventures and fighting monsters. Well, I can give you some tips if you want. Yes, please. I'd love to learn from you. I don't think we found her during the showcase. Yeah. All right, then. I have a gift for you. It's the most important tool for a treasure hunter. Ten candles. Candles? I thought you'd give me a sword or something to guard me from the monsters. What a bummer. A treasure hunter is no warrior and no soldier. We don't fight. We hide. We're not reckless. We're thoughtful. A good treasure hunter gets the biggest loot while minimizing risks. Hmm, I think I understand. But what do I uh, need so many candles for? I can see quite well if I have one in my hand. You're going to be in this castle for a long time. Just imagine you come back here later and there's a terrifying monster at the corner of the corridor in complete darkness. If you only carry a candle in your hand, you won't see it until it tries to bite your neck. But if you light the area in advance, you'll see it from afar. You can place candles on the ground wherever you want. Okay, so that's why you have multiple. But what if I place them and leave? Won't they run out? They can last for many days. Don't worry about that. If you place a candle, it will stay, unless you remove it. So they're great to mark places and guide you. Look, I think it's best you put this into practice. Alright. Do you see this corridor full of doors? You can go for a walk and place five candles in those places you think most convenient. But do not place them all together or they would be useless. Okay, so that's what the candles are for. All right. Hmm. Let's do. Do we just? Yep. Okay. Let's put these at some strategic places then. Yeah. Because it does mean we find places like those braziers. Definitely light them up. Definitely lighting this up. Oop. Okay. If we can go in that, we can go and climb. Something can come out. Excuse me, sire. I believe you possess at least one of the letters of my name? You follow me, sire. I would like to explain to you something you will need to know. Let's, let's put one down here. And also... There we go. Probably better to do that instead, yeah. Okay. I presume you have found a letter in the castle, am I right? Yes, you are. What are they for? There are letters hidden in the rooms. You may use them to display my name. Is that so? Every letter you may find will appear in this room. Once you have collected enough letters, you may display my name. Hmm. I see eight places on the floor. So your name consists of eight letters, doesn't it? You are indeed perceptive, sire. Therefore, I urge you to continue looking for letters. Once you have collected eight, I will tell you to come back to this room. I wish you luck, sire. Then I should focus on getting those eight letters. Okay. I think there was also something in the showcase that where, where we got uh, uh, told that if we do not guess his name by the end of the night, that he will suck us dry of blood. And it's the fangs. Uh, wait, did we find out this name? I don't think so. Like, we only have one letter and there's eight in it. And she is gone. Okay, will oh she dear. show up again once we put down five candles? We're gonna die! 
Well, he's gonna die, and I'm gonna run away. Okay, another hiding spot. Okay. Hello. I think it's I hear Kendall. footsteps. Where's that the candle that I'm hearing? I think it's the candle. Hmm. Wait. That color. Oh. Hmm. We have a blue key. This is... This is blue. Okay, some unfortunate soul. Fortunate? Un unfortunate soul. There we go, much better hell. That's the yeah, correct I, I term. said unfortunate. Oops. It sounds like Fortune you said fortunate, to which made me so confused. What is great uh, to great gain strength? I just need to open my inventory and eat it. I should be careful not to waste it, though. Some foods are better than others to restore health. Yeah, we, we are definitely going to take damage sooner or later. And we are going to get chased sooner or later. Okay. A gold coin. One single coin in the chest. And the letter I. Zowie, one of the kobolds' name letters. Okay. Hmm. I hope the game isn't going to be tricking us by just playing silent for most of it. And just uh, let, the, let the player hype themselves into getting scared. This hole isn't as big. If I had a piece of wood, I could make a bridge to get to the chest. Okay. Hmm. Probably some more gold in that. We could also... No. No, we should not use the bones to build a, br a root bridge. Another blue? Okay. Let's see. Boxes to push around. Okay, yeah, you're not go. supposed to push that one, I think. Okay, I'm guessing this will reset. Yep. Okay. Oopy. There's a, three candles. As a paper note, it reads, these are magic crates. If you misplace them, you can exit the room. You'll find them in their original place the next time you enter. Signed by JF. Okay. Hmm. Yay. F. Yay. F. Yay. F. Maybe clues of the kobold? Or someone else? It's a big hole. I can't reach the chests. Okay, the big chests are probably going to contain the letters. Yeah, and a switch maybe will help us. If we want what's in that chest, we'll have to leave and enter again at least once. Okay, that brings that up. Also, I've turned down my music a little bit. Oh, A. Okay. Great, it looks like one of the kobolds name letters. Yeah, I've turned the music down a bit so that I'm not getting freaked out by the ambient noise, because that's typically what gets you in games like this. It's the music or the ambient noises are meant to get you on edge. If you only knew... How oh, hard I'm resisting the urge by you saying boop out of nowhere. <laughs> Just to see if that actually will make you jump. 
Probably not. Okay, now how do we... Mm, mm. I think I messed it up already. Okay. If you yeah, actually got the jump scare to make see Moo, I would probably have laughed. Hmm. Let's reset this again. Okay. I don't find this game spooky. I, I doubt I'm gonna get too scared. Like, I do get the spooky vibe, but I'm not feeling afraid. Yeah. So I, I have just prayed they don't, they're not gonna use sheep jump scares. Yeah. Is the thing, yeah. jump scares are not bad on their own, they are good jump scares. But they should not feel cheap. Yeah. Let's see. Two gold coins. There's a missive. It reads, This strange kobold wants me to guess his name. It seems there's a letter inside every room. I'll have to search the castle through to find them all. The problem is to sort the letters from to form the right name. Signed by JF. Okay. Oh. A former so, uh, challenger? Probably. Oh dear. Okay, that's that room done. Oh. Okay, the letter appears on the door. If we've completed it. Okay, that's good. Hmm. That actually helps you to keep track of the doors and hello. Yellow, or I guess, could also be gold. Yeah, they, they called them golds earlier. That looks like it. It's based on a real painting. This ambient noise is still getting under my skin. Portrait of a girl. She's my age, and it's odd, because her face looks really familiar. There's a name written. It reads... Lucrenzia. Welp. Well, that's scary. That street came straight from the depths of a castle. Okay, I think that might have unleashed a beast. Unleash the beast. Let's put a candle here. Because we will be back here later. Okay. Green door. Let's see. Oh, okay. They're not all grouped together. I just remember something I forgot to tell you. Something I saw some weeks ago. No. Oh. I was to go uh, to somewhere, and as I was leaving my building, I saw someone in our park, or in a, well, one of the parks, there are several around okay. here, with a cat on the leech, a leech. Okay, yeah, cats it, can be uh, led around on a leash if you train them for it. Uh, here's the thing, Ilian, the cat was in a constant Hope no one sees me. Hope the other ones don't see me like this. <laughs> Let's see. Zowie, the donkey from the woods. But look at that horn. Perhaps he has become a donkey corn? What? Hey, Mr. Donkey. How come are you here? He looks hungry. Okay. Carpets? We have another apple. Have an apple, Mr. Donkey. Yep. He just pooped gold. Uh, a <laughs> golden donkey corn. Okay, uh, two gold coins. That makes for five total. Um, okay. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> uh, and on that, uh, the stream timer went off, but let's first check what the hell is going on here. Uh, hello? He just... <laughs> Icebine. Hey, kid. Oi, my name's Icebine. Uh, hi, I'm Hans. Don't give me that look. I'm an ordinary man. Oink, but an evil witch turned me into a pig. 
Whenever I come to the castle, I regain my human shape. I believe I could make a great new Count Lucanor, don't you think? Um, well, maybe. I'm just trying to guess the kobold's name, too. Have you met him? The bluish creature? Of course I met him. He's my friend, Oik. But I don't know his name. Nobody does. But I can tell you, all letters in the castle are fake. Fake? Yep, it's all a trick, Oink. You have no chance. There's no way to win. <laughs> okay. What? Hello, little man. Hello, lady. What are you doing here? The castle is in just uh, is in just on the way to the village, and sometimes we come here to rest for the night. My son really likes this place. Your son? Do you remember the pig I had with me? He's actually my son Icebine. A spell turned him into a pig many years ago. The fool tried to court a witch. You're here for those count trials, aren't you? Then please have this green key, boy. You'll need it to open more doors in the castle. Okay, that's two out of two keys. Hold on. Mm -hmm. He tried to... court a witch. What did he do? Well, he just farted for one. No, no that, yeah, but more, more like... What? The courting is one thing, it's not wrong about it, but... What did he do to anger a witch so badly to curse him into a pig? Kirby she did it just uh, for the fun of it. <laughs> Let's for see. a reason, I think it might be a hit what he did. Let's see. I would like to thank you for giving me your precious cane. I've got a gift for you. This magic ring. A snake ring? Well, thanks a lot. It's really old. It used to belong to a very powerful witch. It's used to expose falsehood and lies. If you put it on, fake objects and imitations will shine in red. Oh? Lady, you won't happen to know the blue kobold's name, will you? Oh, my boy. Oh, boy. I wish I knew. But I've been told the map in the fountain has a clue to guess it. Oh? Okay. Well, uh, we're going to need to throw in a, a coin to save. There. So saved. <laughs> okay. And yeah, with that, we move on over here and we go look for someone to raid. So let me oh open dear. up Twitch, change the screen share. There and there. Okay, let's have a look. We have Reef to Leave, who is online with Breath of Fire 3. Nico Sofrado with Lies of Pi. Theory Pop is playing Luigi Ma Luigi's Mansion. Okay. Lashris is playing Near Automata. Chubbers the Moon Seal is playing Dark Souls. Pardon? Is playing Dark Souls Remastered. Dark Scaly Tail is playing a game called Pizza Possum. Okay. What? The heck. Actually, I think I've seen. I, I think I've seen this pop up as an advertisement or something but i have absolutely no idea what it's about it looks what? it's some sort of co-op platformer or something what the heck are they, why are they wearing those clothes well maybe they're supposed I, I have no idea what's going on with all of this don't you recognize uh, the clothes that the little cobalt is wearing uh yeah that's from <laughs> that's from uh cult of the lamb Okay, I, I have absolutely no idea what the hell is going on with it. If it's uh, co-op or competitive, I'm seeing only one score. So I think it's sort of a, a, a fun, just a, a funky cause a lot, as much mess as you can game or something. <laughs> Good God. Okay. And last but not least, we have WBPL uh, who is streaming MechWarrior, but we rated them earlier today. So no go with that. Uh, let's see who to rate then. I, I'd say either Theory Pop with Luigi's Mansion, or we we go ask what the hell this pizza possum is all about. Yeah, either Touch Scale Teal or uh, Theory Pop. Okay, let's go take a peek here. The freaking ads. Uh, oh, Luigi's Mansion 3DS. Wait, I, I didn't even know there was a, re a version for the 3DS. Okay. Yeah. 
They didn't? No, not at all. Maybe it's, it was a download only or something? Hmm. Maybe? Unsure? That's, uh... Hmm. Oh. Okay, for a moment it looked like a lot of other people came online, but no. Okay. Uh... We've raided Touch Tale a few more times. I'll I'll open them up on a new tab just so I can ask what the hell. But let's actually raid Theory Pop. So copy the name. Freaking add again. Add to our place. Same ad. Oh, we, we saw the same ad earlier today, even. Yeah, this Twitch is getting aggressive with the ads again. Yeah, we just got to wait for pop up block yeah, for ad blockers to catch up with that and. Uh, then the arms race can start anew. <clears throat> but, oh yeah. dear. Uh, for now, before we end the stream, though, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you, Sensai, for lurking. And thank you, as always, for Kier. Thank, thank you as well, my friend. And thank you all for joining. Oh, wait. I mean, you're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining. That's okay. what I meant to say. Uh, tomorrow we'll have another showcase Sunday. Last week, uh, yeah, <laughs> last week we would have streamed an, a dip, yeah, just a game at, instead of a showcase. But yeah, I, I just want to showcase some more games. Um, and yeah, hopefully in the evening more LA Noir with Rom. If not, then uh, Dark Side Detective or Luca Noir. One of the two. Okay. You probably had more Luca. Yeah, to catch since up a bit. I, yeah, since I do feel otherwise we... For... Here's the thing. We probably finish Dark Side Quest maybe next weekend. Maybe, yeah. Depending on how long these last two ones are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we may already need to probably investigate the little spooky game uh, Marco recommended. And let's do some research on it. Uh, yeah, that, what was it called again? Let me scroll up. The Strength, I think. Uh, let's see. It's not really a search function for words on this. Let me actually just go look up if it's on Steam. So, store, featured... The strain or the strains. Okay, no results here. Uh, a quick Google then. The strains game. Actually, I think he said he'd linked it on the <clears throat> on the server, so I can look there. Okay, there. Is, oh, I was typing it wrong. I was D E, not D I. Let's see the strain deluxe edition. Uh, yeah, I'll take a look at that. But for now, back to the raids. And yeah, let's get that started. So yeah, in, if not that game, we also we have some other ones we showcased. Mythargia, we could try. <clears throat> yeah, it was uh, that uh, weird uh, going between alternate planes in pixel in a town on an island or something. Yeah. Okay, but for now, uh, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls. Mm.